teachings, and I want to talk about the future of software development. So the future is probably the most amazing, exciting, wonderful, scary, expensive, error-prone future I can imagine. And I'm not talking about, my fear doesn't come from 1984, mixed with Fahrenheit 451, and the Terminator. My fear actually is because of the software that we're going to use to run the future. And specifically the languages that we use to write that software, which is what social machines do. A programming language. It's a system for programming languages. Just to let everybody know, if you're not a software developer, what a programming language is, everybody writes letters. In fact, most of you are writing right now. We do the same thing. Our language allows us to communicate our intentions to a machine. Now, as you can imagine, misinterpretation of written and spoken word happens all the time. And we have a lot of abstractions coming into the future that we're going to need to take care of that we currently do not have the ability, or rather it's very expensive to do, with our current programming languages. So what are those problems? Number one is concurrency. The ability to run multiple tasks at one period of time. You see this happen every day on your computer when you have multiple applications running, but that's actually very difficult for the programmer to do correctly. The second one is distribution. Once again, we're very familiar with distribution. A lot of us use Google, or our in the internet in general. Programming language is very complicated to get this right. The last one is encryption. As we put more data online, the more need, the need for privacy is, excuse me, is paramount, whether computational or not. So concurrency, distribution, and encryption. Now, who am I? I said my name is Mark. Currently a software developer in the Department of Defense area, specifically the Air Force. I have two rather large, notable programs behind my belt, which is one's a program of record, and another one is on the Office of Secretary of Defense's best practices list. Now, what am I looking for from all of you guys? One is mentoring. I have no idea how to market a paradigm shift. Hopefully somebody here does. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, my target markets are life sciences, Anything with big data, life sciences, high finance, U.S. intelligence community. I need target market experts. And the other one is I need software developer evangelists. Languages are built on an organic basis, so I need those developers. And uh, I'm about to be up, so this is done. <laughs> Being that concurrency, distribution, and encryption are built into semantics, communication is built between two machines is HTTP. And the encryption is what's encrypted in cryptography. So you can write APIs on the edges of Python, Ruby, and the other languages, but to deal with the same semantics would be a little bit more difficult. So what's, what's the amount? So, over the other room, I can show you to serve a project distribution wise. It's one command, <coughs> written the project, and to ultimately get that project on your own is also one command. There's no download, it's merely a reference to the other machine. The language itself, 
small talk like syntax, a lot of Ruby semantics, so it's very akin to the modern language we use today, but there are some differences. So you said big data uh, as part of marketing. Is this a data warehousing, data mining? Data computation, so it's computation. Big data required, so we can hold, store all the data we want, but nobody cares about data, they want information, which requires computation. So, especially in the intelligence get information out of that, we need to perform lots of tasks on it. Parallelization is hard. Concurrency is hard to do all these things. There's a lot of problems with that. If you had the cash, what would you do with it? Hire one or two more developers and uh, to basically double check me and to get expedite the process and get it done. I've done uh, the, the little bit of development in the past three months, which was learning the language, 